Sometimes it's harder to understand a concept unless we can visually see it. That's why Dr. Frank H. Netter dedicated his life to helping people understand difficult medical concepts through his drawings. Dr. Netter is considered one of the world's greatest medical illustrators, which is why he's been honored in a new biography called Medicine's Michelangelo. Joining me now is Dr. Netter's daughter and author, Francine Mary Netter. Nice to have you here on Connecticut Style. Uh, Francine, let's talk a little bit uh, about your father. Was he always artistic? Oh, yes. When he was a little kid, all he ever wanted to do was make pictures. Really? Uh, um, and how did he get started in the medical field, would you say? Well, his mother told him that art is a very nice thing, but it's no way for a young man to earn a living. And she wanted him to go to medical school, and so he did. But when he got to medical school, he had studied art all through his college years and everything. Mm -hmm. And so he found he could best make best learn his subjects by making pictures. And so he began making pictures of the uh, cadavers when he was studying anatomy. And um, his classmates soon saw these pictures and his professors, could we have some of those pictures? I want them oh, to Oh, they learn. were just amazed by them, right? Yes. <laughs> um, we're actually going to put up some of uh, your father's works here. Obviously, this is a heart we're looking at right now. This is very interesting. When um, he was already a, a young surgeon and the SEBA company came to him, um, they wanted to make a flyer for uh, of the heart to promote their um, new heart medication, the okay. digitalis preparation. They made this flyer. And heart. that was your dad's artwork on it? Yes, wow. it was. Wow. Uh -huh. All right. And, uh... and this is, um, he did this later in life. This is a um, picture of the veins and uh, arteries of the scalp and the head. Okay. And this is a masterpiece that he did of the hand. You know, not every artist can draw hands, and he was just an artist, a great uh, master of that. Yeah, you could tell mm -hmm. all the details there. Um, what would you say, Francine, uh, is his most interesting work of art? Well, I think the the most the the most interesting thing that he did was that he did at the end of his life when he was 80 years old. Um, he they he by that time he had done already 4,000 pictures oh, wow. for the SEBA company, and they decided to put together a first class, a first rate anatomy atlas. Oh, wow. And Frank Netter called that his Sistine Chapel. Oh, I understand. I get the yeah. theme here. Oh, that's yeah. incredible. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a personal favorite? Um, well, there were so many of them, you know, right. there were 4,000 of them. And he also did non-medical art. He would do that for his own personal enjoyment. Yeah, we actually have a couple of pictures of those. We could put them up. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a medical picture that he did um, when he was illustrating the heart, and it's of a man having a heart attack, and all oh. the precipitating factors are there. You see the man had just finished a heavy meal in the restaurant, and he's coming out into the cold and the snow. He's climbing the steps. He's carrying a heavy valise, which he drops, drops his cigarette is on the ground, and he's clutching his chest in pain. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is a picture he did when he was a little kid. He was only 11 years old, and his mother Excuse was me. there, and she was peeling potatoes, and she had fallen asleep. Oh. <laughs> and um, he went and got a pencil and drew her picture. And he liked that picture very much. So when he got to medical school, he um, uh, was trying to learn the medicine, and this is a picture of um, going the first year of medical school. A study group, it looks like, of yes, some it's sort, right? Cramming, cramming for, the for the osteology test. Um, now, I want to ask you, what made you create the book? No one wrote his biography, and I thought that it was a good thing that somebody should document his life because people would always ask me about him. Sure. You know? And um, when he died in uh, 1991, several people asked me would I write his biography, and uh, I didn't do that at that time. I didn't start until 2004. I started writing the biography. Wow. So this is 10 years it's been in, in the making. Great. Well, and where can we is. find it? Um, you can go to frankhnetter.com. Okay. And um, it should be available also in the bookstores and should be available um, on Amazon. Oh, just about everywhere. Yes. Oh, Francine, uh -huh. this is very interesting stuff. Thank you so much for being here. The name of the book again is Medicines Michelangelo. All right, and stay with us. More Connecticut style after the break. We'll be right back.